Hi, I'm Acting City Manager Ed Zerker. Here at the City of Phoenix, we have 15,000 dedicated employees who work hard every day to serve the public in a variety of jobs. One of the places that is very interesting for the city is our state-of-the-art crime lab. And we're here today to talk to our forensic scientist, Laura Alzubi, about the work she does for the citizens of Phoenix here at the crime lab. Hi, Laura. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks for joining me. So, you're a forensic scientist. Tell us a little bit about what sort of background you need to have this job that you have here. Well, right now at the laboratory, um, you need to have a bachelor's of science. Um, typically, that's what they're looking for. Um, I have a, a bachelor's in molecular biology from the University of Arizona, and I've been working at the laboratory for eight years. Great. So, tell us a little bit about what your daily work is. What do you do every day here in the crime lab? So in the laboratory, there are, um, uh, there are eight sections of the laboratory, and I work in the, um, the latent print comparative section. Um, I look at evidence that has been collected from crime scenes, as well as other types of evidence that contain fingerprint impressions. So um, if there's a fingerprint impression collected at the crime scene, and we have a, an investigative lead, we call that a manual comparison, where we're comparing an unknown print to a known print. Um, oftentimes, more oftentimes, the latent print collected at the crime scene does not have any investigative lead. And therefore, we would put that fingerprint into our automated system called APHIS. And APHIS is the Automated Fingerprint Identification System. We code the latent, we put it through the system, and the system will br bring back a potential list of candidates for us to compare. Um, aside from those two main functions that I do every day, I do um, testify in the judicial system when called upon to present my findings. And I also go out and um, do some outreach programs for the city of Phoenix, um, schools, other members of the Phoenix Police Department, as well as other members of the laboratory. So you're a scientist, but you're also a city employee. When you're getting your degree, did you think about working for, for the city or for a local government? Was that something you thought about? I, I actually thought about that in the back of my mind, that that would be great to do. I do know that it's very um, challenging to get those types of positions, so I tried to do everything that I could in order to kind of get my foot in the door. Now we see CSI on TV, and on CSI they have one case and they work it and it's one hour and it's done. I'm guessing that's not how it is here for you. How many cases might you have going at one time? I have quite a large caseload. Um, every case is so different. So you might have one case that has one latent print, and you might have another case that has 100 latent prints collected off of one item, such as a vehicle. So it's very, very different. Um, I typically can do probably anywhere from 50 to 80 APHIS cases a month, and technically probably about 10 comparative cases a month, just depending on the level of complexity in the case and how many people I actually have to compare the latents to. So it's a little different from CSI. Definitely okay. different from CSI. All right. Yeah. And then as you think about other things you'd like to do in the lab, what, what, other, what other jobs in the lab are of interest? You know, I really love all areas of forensic science. I feel like every single part of forensic science is so interesting. Um, my background is in molecular biology, so I do, I do find interest in the forensic biology section. Um, hopefully, maybe one day, the laboratory will allow some cross-training. Um, but as for right now, I am a fingerprint expert, and I really do enjoy what I'm doing. And last question without giving away any, any, you know, any secret details. Any interesting types of cases you've had in your career uh, dealing with fingerprints or anything else? Um, I deal with interesting cases every single day. I mean, it's, it's remarkable what you can find a latent print off of. Um, I've identified um, an individual's finger on two items such as a wrapper, um, a straw wrapper, um, ashtrays. Um, I believe someone's even um, lifted a print off of human skin. Wow. Um, so, you know, obviously weapons, knives, um, guns, um, all kinds of different things. So, you know, it just goes to show that you can leave behind this little piece of um, friction skin that can be identified to an individual, and a lot of people don't realize how little we need to actually make that determination. And I'm guessing there's a lot of satisfaction being part of the criminal justice system, knowing you're bringing justice uh, for the people of Phoenix. Yes, it's amazing, and I really do love working for the city of Phoenix. It's a great community. Um, I love working at the laboratory. We're all very professional here and have a very high standard of integrity, and it makes my job really worthwhile. Well, great. Thanks for sharing with us today. Thank you. 
So this is an example of one of the jobs in the city of Phoenix. We'll be bringing those to you over the coming months. 15,000 city employees working hard to serve the residents of Phoenix. For On the Job, I'm Acting City Manager Ed Zerker.